smoke. Oh, that's Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin. There was something going wrong with that 11 car. Yeah, there definitely was. And remember, we talked about Kyle Busch needing to pass three guys to get back in the lucky dog spot? He has. This yeah, he got great. the lucky dog. But one thing I'm seeing here, uh, Joe Gibbs Racing lost a cylinder with the 20 car, and now it looks like he's lost the engine in this 11. Yeah, you see, just let's go. You, you know, you might think that they would be experimenting, maybe trying some things in the engine to get ready for the chase. Nothing to lose here, but try to just get a win. Well, they said in the pre-race, he said it all day long, we are considering this as the start of the chase for us. Well, they're hoping it doesn't get start out like this. Well, the only bad thing is, is they, they're not going to lock themselves in that chase position tonight. Well, I saw the 20 was off the pace, and it looked like he had an engine problem. And usually where there's one, the 11 team will find the other. We uh, we seem to find all the, the bad luck in Joe Gibbs Racing. But, you know, it's just it's frustrating. And, you know, it's a 50-50 day. You know, we look at it, and we can look at the negative, and that's that we blew up, and that reliability is, is still somewhat of an issue. Um, but the positive is, is we brought our best car to the racetrack and, and pretended that this was a chase race and to see where we were going to stack up versus competition when we had to really go. And uh, you know, I was just pacing myself out there, having fun and, and racing with Tony and those guys. So, you know, I'm going to leave with the 50 percent that I'm, I'm going to stay positive and, and hopefully know that, uh, you know, we're, we've really got a strong race team. And if we can just keep it together, we can really win this championship uh, legitimately. So we just got to keep it together and we'll be all right. You were one of the few guys that came into this race tonight with not a lot of pressure. Like you said, you were pretending it was the chase. Now all of a sudden there's one race to go before the chase. What does that mean for Richmond looking forward? Well, you just, um, I'm thankful that there's only one left because, you know, with the, you know, with the stuff that's going on and, and you know, us having trouble finishing races at this point, I'm just happy there's only one more race that we could possibly lose points. You know, I would hate to miss that cut. Uh, simply because of this stuff happening, but you know my team deserves better, and, and we're going to keep digging. And you know we know with uh, in, in two weeks, hopefully, when things reset, we're going to be on the positive side of things.